wanna see a little clearer Cause they wanna look right back And she's a guys welcome back to my youtube channel with yet another video today we decided to do an outdoor video and really like this view so i decided to come here and shoot this video uh for my new subscribers you're very much welcome this is makawa by chilimo we do makeup fashion and lifestyle content i really do hope you're really enjoying being here because this is the way to go so by the title you already know what you're going to talk about and for that reason i decided to invite a guest to my channel this is my first guest to come to my channel and i feel so happy to be doing this with her so with no further ado let my guest introduce herself hi guys my name is Hazel. i'm very excited to be here thank you life for giving me this chance to be here i'm so right. grateful and i hope we'll talk more we'll engage more and you guys are gonna learn a lot from here so stay tuned uh, subscribe subscribe and share and like and comment yeah. yeah so welcome guys so guys by the title you already know what we are going to talk about we are talking about um we've listed here relationships trauma and toxicity this is not based on relationship but for partners yeah. we are focusing on families friends, friends and yeah. even the partners themselves yeah so guys subscribe stay tuned and you just stay tuned and thank you so much we look cute we know but yeah. we appreciate the compliments <laughs> so stay tuned yeah so guys what we are going to talk about are relationship traumas and Hazel if you don't mind would you tell us what are relationship traumas so relationship traumas is a behavior abusive behavior that occurs between intimate partners that results to they results to long lasting, long lasting psychological behavior and physical effects. Uh, the relationship traumas we're talking about, these are things that you end up carrying even after leaving the relationship with your partner, yeah. even with your family. Like there's this, the things that happen that eventually affect your life in one way or another. Yeah. For example, in let's say in family relationship traumas let's say your parents were this kind of parents who used to fight like every day they bring the and physical fighting in front of you and you're still a kid you know so you, you used to like to see it happen yeah and you just have like I talk yeah. you. so you, you find yourself as in kikumbuka is of it unanza to be traumatized without even as in inakuja yeah. tu inakuja it's, yeah so it's something that ni mona in affect a lot of people and people don't really like talking about it but and most people don't realize that they are going through, through it. it yeah 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 so unapata mtu maybe ako na certain behavior na kumbe deep down is about the fighting of the parents and blah 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 yeah. kawafanya sasa you can fanya na kaigo so i guess we are bringing this to help people know that mm, there are things that happen right, yeah, yeah. and you need once you realize that you are you're not living nicely with like other people apart from your family yeah, members yeah. just go back and revisit yourself and think why am i doing this mm -hmm. why is this and this happening like that most of the things need to see may happen like in your past yeah. you used to see your father fighting now pia wewe umebeba your anger you want to beat other people not you and again hapa hivi unaita bunifu anasema ni kwa nasema you have to go through something to be someone as in kuna kitu unapitia ndio itakufanya ukwe like maybe that trauma ama hiyo kupigana kwa wazazi you, you go through it alafu sasa you, you try to portray it in a way hata wewe mwenyewe zijua yeah. but it's being portrayed by your behavior so yeah. i guess a lot of people are going through yeah, it yeah it happens yes it happens and also for what is it called relationship traumas like boyfriend girlfriend yeah what when you intimate intimate yeah. yeah they also have a lot of effect in people's life kwanza most of the traumas are like you end up having low self esteem mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. because that person alikuwa na ku be little anakwambia wewe you are not like this you are like this no no like i could be little in so many ways so you end up feeling low because that nigga told you something or that girl told yeah. you something I don't that's a pata, trauma yeah you carry like guilt yeah you carry guilt and at always you try it, it was his or her problem yeah. nikitu tu nakuja to realize i have this guilt but you dreamy yeah. wapi but it was because maybe did something to you she did something to you that mm. you find yourself in that position a lot tena ni ni you find as in you feel unafeel unworthy yeah. as in you find yourself feeling unworthy as you na sema okay 
Shape at our twenty the after relationship on a sema. Okay, me and never date and never do this because you feel like you know say I'll find ya na feel unworthy. Yeah. You feel like mm, I'm not good a good person for this and this year. So I guess these are the traumas. Yeah. When you're in a relationship and this person is they're not being honest with you, every time they tell you something you end up finding another thing out of it. You end up once you leave that relationship, you lose carry that trauma about yeah, trust yeah. issues. Like you find it so hard to trust people. Like unaona too, like mtu akikwambia kitu kwa like nina, that's a lie. This one is like, that's a trauma. So be careful with who you engage your life with because yeah. most people like to lie. And if you're an adult at this point and you're still telling lies, I don't know what. what shame on you. That's Shame on you, na big not. As in shame, yeah. shame, shame. As in just be honest. Konza, if you're having a partner, you need to be honest with your partner. Like, be open, talk yeah. to them. If yeah. there's a problem, yani just speak out. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I love to know another thing about speaking up. As in, the more you talk, you become vulnerable. And the more vulnerable you become, that relationship with a court committed. Yeah. And then another trauma, um, physical assault. Yeah, that one. As in, mm-hmm. baby girl, my kings, unakamali mtu anakweka ngumi, anakweka teke, anakupika. Na bado you're entertaining that nigga. Na bado unaka. Funny enough, they still stay. I don't know why. I don't know why they stay, though. They stay. Sielewi kwa nini. By the way, why do you guys stay? <laughs> so you carry that scar. Tuseme kwa wale when you moved out. Yeah. They carry the scars. in mtu walikuchoma. Mm-hmm. Mbado of people mtu anakumagia acid or whatever. Yeah, it happens. So you carry that as in kiona yo scar una feel traumatized. Yeah. Ina ku take okay, back. Ina like, take back. Th- back the memory. So as in, I don't know why people do that. Like in me, I don't find it attractive when a man is fighting a woman. I don't find it attractive at all. Like as a man, okay, I'm not saying like in a bad way or like in a feminist way, but like men should, as in just know how to address an issue. If it's a woman, don't fight a woman. Just yeah. talk to her or take other take other initiative like involving other people. You know, I mean talking is one of the best way to resolve something. Or involving a third party. Yeah. But you kipata mse mwenye anakuindia mkono, baby girl. Run! Kemboy, kemboy. Kwa ni mrembo yu mataka kupigwa, like who has said that? But again, kuna hii as an idea nyo unasema, okay, this guy is treating me nice. No, that's the damn man. You cannot look at the disadvantages na unakaa tu juu as in advantages ni kama anakupea doma na kutit kwa no we are not doing that you need, you need to be treated like a baby girl like you need to be respected as in respect is the first thing that comes to your mind when you enter a relationship if that nigga is not respecting you he definitely doesn't even love you for real i don't know that, that's that's a, i think we are not talking about as in as females but even, even men but are them when you cheesy no, no, okay, I'm not picking my chalice. As in the mouth is yapa yapa. Okay, okay, it's not bad having. A, okay, baby, me na ongi anga ni kona mdomo. I know that for a fact. But like, I don't have to reach that point that I want to fight with my man. You know, that's not even a lady. Like, what's that? You want to fight a lady, a man, as a lady? No, it doesn't even add up. Of, of men, of no, of females trying to fight their males. Yeah. Mtu anakushikia kwa anga, anakushikia kisu. What? That? I mean, they just... Those people are going through something. Yeah, And they trauma. need to heal. They need to heal, like, for real. Ukipata na my kings, na baby girls. Yeah. Mtu kao yo, inuwa migu dada, boy, kanyaga. And to leave them, leave them. They yes. are going through a lot. Yeah, they're And they need. don't know. And they That's need healing, by the way. Therapist. <laughs> this is a therapist. <laughs> uh, so, guys, the next thing about relationship traumas, ni... Parents. Okay. <laughs> I am not a parent at this point, but I have experienced being a kid. Like, I know how parents treat people at some point, and I've seen from friends here. Mm-hmm. As in, there's this time, there's not there's this time, there's this moment when you are not okay with your parents, your dad, or your mom. Mm-hmm. So they end up telling you anything. Mm-hmm. Like, they tell you, you will never succeed in life. I mean, that one. Like, parents even, like, they need to mind how they talk to us to their children mm-hmm. that's what i can say because mm-hmm. most kids end up carrying that thing they like their entire life mm-hmm. when i like meta says you can't be did you mm-hmm. my dad told me mm-hmm. this is what i'll be mm-hmm. in the end no mm-hmm. so parents pia wana kuanga na impact sana when creating really mini traumas in people's life mm-hmm. i feel like those people carry it as you know so and i infect you as in they have like a void 
they need to feel it jumza zongo aliniambia hivi now you find someone being maybe abusive yeah. or something so it's trauma yes trauma, trauma but it has a very negative impact on the society yeah. another thing trauma about uh, sexual sexual trauma sexual assault yeah sexual assault mm-hmm. um, umeskia of a case of rape in yeah. a couple relationship yeah it happens yeah, yeah, yeah it happens yeah. your boyfriend can rape you actually yeah. if you're not in like a good know, relationship yeah alafu you find yourself like na una feel unakuwa like traumatized unapata hata kuwa intimate with the person in a personal hard for you yeah. because you remember we will say he was my boyfriend a person when it could be like kando yangu remember mm-hmm. sex need to have consent yeah, yeah. even if we're in a relationship it needs yeah. to have consent like it's i need to like be able to engage with you and i'm like yeah i want to do it but mm-hmm. if i say no and you're still insisting that's yeah. rape yeah na kuja ko idha wewe uko idha anataka ku force how is it force is this stuff babe how is it force so i feel like it's most people trauma. most people are going through it by the way and they really don't know they don't know they don't know That's why we are here guys to let you know about this thing. You don't know. Na sema wewe bwana lazimishanga kulala na yeye. Na mimi siko hivyo. That's right. And you just sit there silently without like talking about it or like being vocal about it but we are here we are here so if you're going through something like that talk to a therapist ama you just walk out i mean at a third don't don't give in um, a bare minimum as in actually kai j just move out no, you okay we're not telling you to to get a relationship yeah then, that's not yeah. your time to that's say what you're trying but you're trying to, trying to, to like yeah. bring out the things that are happening in yeah. society and many people are not like aware about it so yeah. yeah guys i think we've really exhausted that part of being in relationship traumas we've yeah. exhausted partners friends oh friends Ew, friends we almost forgotten that one now you start with the big thing like marafiki by the way my friends as in friends can put you in something that will, you will carry for the entire life as in, so let me give you an example you mm-hmm. have this friend of yours there yeah? and you are always supportive like mm-hmm. you are doing the most to her you are doing yeah. this 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 and that mm-hmm. so it reaches a point she doesn't want you anymore yeah. but she can't tell you that she doesn't want you now she starts to treat you like, like you, you are, are nobody. nobody you are nobody you know if you are that person who's been there for her you know you'll carry that thing for your entire life uh, you'll be like her. this person has not been appreciating me i mean it to me like my entire life i was i was literally there for her or him That's why you reach a point when you say that this person like really used me mm. and need to me. Yeah. But you did not know as in uko na jo wesi una jo and best you have to be like here I have to do and that is what like most people are feeling today. Una tumia zi mtu by the way. How do you use good. somebody to your own benefit? I mean and then these people who like they don't use you but like they do you much and they expect you to do the same and you let's say you don't even You don't fit that capacity up to treat brutal. people That's the way brutal. she's treating you. No wonder free things. Kimi ya. Usikubali free things from people. Mm-hmm. You know me gumbili. They will yeah. use that against you because they know you can't afford that so they lose that. That's trauma, bro. Yeah, because mtu anasema as long as I'm giving you this, I'm giving you this and you cannot like you're not in a position to, to like, do that back. I mean, so, the free things. Oh, kwanza in friendships run. Kranga, kanyaga, Kran. if, if it's possible kimbia kim kimboy like the kid says kimboy so guys the next thing we're going to talk about is toxicity toxic people i don't like when people say that i'm toxic yet you can't date me by the way you see see virtue i'm toxic i'm toxic You're toxic so what? You're causing you're causing people not to live their lives well. So tell us about toxicity. So toxic toxic means uh the quality of being like harmful or unpleasant. I can say that is a very like um formal way to say it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So kwanza moja kwanza. Now as in this society you are living in, they like like the idea of being toxic. toxic. I don't know why and it's not even fun about like being saying you're toxic it's not even attractive at any point but the way you look stupid when you say that to people who understand what toxicity means for us we we, we understand but yeah. for people outside there as in you know people are toxic toxic actually that's my type you met you've met females like that yeah i've met so many females who say they are toxic 
and they say they can't get into a relationship or they tell a man I mean you can't date me I'm toxic. toxic I'm just toxic and the niggas who love toxic yeah, yeah. they'll be like I love my women toxic what's Let that? you you're no. sick you're, you're sick, sick in the head, head. <laughs> you're sick in the head I mean yeah wow so but I think toxic as in uh, the kikikia position in mtu ameanza kuwa toxic there's something there's something that's triggering yeah Actually, I'll give an example. If you're always dishonest, that's being toxic to me. Because why you're always lying? Mm-hmm. Until you're telling me this now, mm-hmm. Kesho may change. That's being toxic in a relationship. Mm-hmm. If you're always lying, full of For lies, seven. full of lies. This nigga never tells the truth, yeah. always lying. Yeah. That's yeah. being toxic to yeah. me. And they don't know. They don't know they're lying too much. Actually, it's like a behavior trait or something. Yeah. But I guess mimi kuna wewe tu mtu mahali as in they were lying to that person and you know you, you infect yourself yeah. as in ika energy you transfer, you transfer energy but a behavior like a trait like toxicity na transfer from one person to another let me give you an example okay you are in a relationship maybe to say this guy is very controlling yeah controlling behaviors mm-hmm. that's toxic we we'll talk about that but na pay example okay. so this guy is very controlling and you do taka sa like give back as in upigane na hiyo controllingness yake unaanza sio kwa controlling as in anakuambia you have to be at home to see me around 8 7 7 7 acha unaanza kumwambia acha you have to be at home around oh ini behavior uko nayo ume ume talk from here yeah, and you don't know you like like where is so both of you end up being yeah toxic. so this is a behavior you may talk from to mwingine wewe uko nayo and you need like healing ama to say nini yeah hmm? you know, yeah okay the next point i'd say is toxicity is lack of support from friends from families anybody from your partners mm-hmm. that's being toxic mm-hmm. and like i said from my previous video if i'm doing shitty things unajua unajua unaweza kuambia you're not supporting my youtube channel yet my content i could write him yeah, yeah just unsubscribe but just unsubscribe mm-hmm. not even unsubscribing mm-hmm. come tell me like yeah by the way by come the tell way. me yo sly ni spend hiyo mambo ya yeah, youtube true, true, true. i'm sorry yeah. i cannot support you at this point because i don't like i'll be fine says you could force me kuambia subscribe see wala and i will like video yangu sije no at least unaniambia vitu za ukweli no i think where we fail as in us for you must escape if you have that character as in speak up niambia yeah. mse mimi si bambiki sasa mimi tajua je ka uniambi si bambiki na yeye sasa mimi ukinielekea huko bibi umenyekea grade na you never told me okay hazel this is and this inanifanya wewe ufanye tu poa like speak up Yeah. Mm. So a lack of support kwanza in a relationship mm-hmm. uh, partner partner relationship that's that's toxic cuz we are not there for me so you're not even happy about the things i'm doing no ni nimesema yes sometimes i might be doing things in your school but tell me you know tell talk, me cuz that to me is toxic yeah. like that's been toxic because if you're not supporting me and you're here crying that you're like my friend my boyfriend my, my partner my partner whatever then at side yani by the way you're not helping each other so i feel like um If you ain't supporting me you are sick toxicity you're sick <laughs> another one is toxic communication like mm. we don't even have a communi- mm. communication like we end up talking shit like we are we're not even having a conversation this one mambo poa mashinda no, sema unataka uh, unataka <laughs> and then you like end the the conversation there, there. i mean na ati mnasema mko kwa relationship, relationship. no <laughs> i think you're dating yourself you're getting played you know toxic communication we are not even having a conversation like we end up fighting like tuko na misunderstanding we can't even settle our misunderstanding mm-hmm. like tuko tu na blame games you did this i, I did, did this that. you did yeah, like you know yeah, it becomes a merry go round that is like something something it's like a behavior yeah a bad behavior yeah a bad behavior So I guess the moment una kai hivi una una but then you're talking to yourself sometimes is like therapy. Yeah, it is. Kika chini, kika chini. I've been meeting for yeah. yourself. You say, okay, why am I like why this? Why am I like this? Why, why am I doing this? Why am I treating this person like this? As in, you can pick up that point where you literally sit down and talk to yourself and like but that are quite toxic is like a disease. You just need to di- diagnose it. <laughs> Serious, it's like a disease. Yeah. Kisha, okay, I'm toxic in this in this particular area then. You like, okay, I need healing. Na hapo ndo utaanza kujirekebisha. But the moment you just stay, but well, I think I'm so feel. I don't know kama watu wengine. Me personally I feel when I've talked shit. I feel 
You feel you. you. <laughs> but people <laughs> out here, me. no. No, yeah. baby girl. So, on to the next, I think, um, envy or jealous. Mm. People who envy mm. or jealous. Because, mm. like, let even, let's even put it, like, in a, um, a parent, not a parent, a family setup. As in siblings? Siblings, yeah, exactly. Siblings, siblings wow. who envy you or have, like, jealous, they're jealous about you, they're toxic, bro, and you need to cut them off. I'm not even One playing. thing I always say about is or siblings who are jealous about someone or something, or yeah, someone, is that you've got something in you that they don't. They don't have. They cannot even, not even they don't have. They cannot even, if they try how, they cannot have it. So they try uh, as hard, but just sometimes they make you feel bad. Yeah. They make you feel like you And know, it's not even yeah, your problem. Yeah. It's not your problem. Maybe you are a good hearted person. Yeah. Love my issue yeah, like being the favorite daughter or son of a oh, yeah, that parent. One. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they feel like Mona wewe una uko unapenda unapenda na your dad nini so they envy you and they take it like the whole thing they now hate you and you don't even know they hate you no, they start to uh, like shit i mean no i always tell myself baby girl baby boy mimi you, you i have something in me that wewe mbona be a yako si mzuri wewe mbona sema academically you are not good wewe mbona uko hivi uko hivi you're not like portraying something good that was a zongo atafanya okay this person i need to treat her in this way and so, then people are blessed differently yeah they're blessed differently so the, 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 the position as in let's say um kitu nyo uko ushua ume umebarikiwa vizuri i mean you're blessed to say me in the field academically anywhere mbona usifanye vizuri you get that like counter attention from your parents yeah. yeah so why you can't put a blame on someone when you yeah i mean yeah. siblings ah. siblings stop hating on your hmm. other siblings i love when i see other siblings loving each other it's yeah. so nice when you see no you remember that you mean on tiktok as in i'm himself the sister witch yeah <laughs> guys the next thing about toxicity i'll talk about controlling behaviors these are people who like to control your life like they feel so entitled to your life so Let's say in a relationship you are with this boyfriend of yours and you have friends of course outside the relationship. So your friends end up telling you, be a blood tender out and it's a girls night out, you know. I don't know why niggas are always negative about girls night out. I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. So you're in that li- and you're telling your boyfriend, hey babe I'm going to go out with my girls. Mm-hmm. Then this boy is like, no you can't go. At the, what if he starts saying the what if the what if what if what if what if what if, mm-hmm. what if what if he ends up telling you no you're not going i am let's say you have a plan for your day you're, you're saying that at he you tend shopping by myself and i come you know where's you end shopping to tend to find vitu zingine like he's like controlling you he's turning you around and attack you find vitu zenye yeye anataka that's toxic they are sick they become they are sick <laughs> it's not our problem by the way it's just they're sick they're sick for me <laughs> another thing always negative yeah actually when you may say you're going out with your girl yeah and you're like to make funny yeah, exactly if this and this happens negative 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 why they always focus on the negative things I those mean, are toxic why can't people you be positive for it, it it happens like in every every point like even families like they all family members are always negative about because they're always negative they're toxic baby you need to cut them off no they're they're sick mm-hmm. another thing is that when they're like what if this happen what if this what if this negative negative, negative. the what ifs that's negative and i me. feel like you may come here as in the toxic behavior is a disease and you have to diagnose yourself i mean sit down and revisit yeah your and get the right medication so guys we've come to the end of the video i hope you really enjoyed this episode because i did we really talked about real life issues these are things that are happening in our daily lives and they need to be addressed you know so stay tuned for the next video we'll be doing more of this with her specifically because she's good at it as you've seen and this was nice doing with you i really yeah, enjoyed myself yeah. i hope you did too i'm so grateful and i feel like oh this is a great privilege you gave me so i'm looking up to doing more videos with you and you guys subscribe like comment and share yeah bye guys bye guys see you Cheers. next time <laughs>